What's going on Tywin here? It's been a few days since I brought you guys a video. The last one was that battle chip glitch. So as you just saw that was the Soul Hunter teaser and now we're looking at the Soul Hunter preview. The first uh, content pack for Infinity Blades 3 um, that's going live on Halloween in just two short days. So the highlights for me really are the vial set so so obviously that's my favorite set really you couldn't figure that out so the vial set is returning isa gets uh, a new set there'll be some new items uh you get a new location with a deathless who is sent by <laughs> excuse me sent by the worker to kill you it's part of the main quest it's an additional quest and you get to fight him as either Cyrus or Issa, whatever character you so choose to be. Um, I'll probably do it as Cyrus first time around, I'll show you guys. Um, besides that, they are introducing a few other things to the game that we requested. Um, the big one there is Dual Infinity Blades. If you beat him, obviously, you get those Dual Infinity Blades if you beat the, the new boss. I already talked about the new armor sets. There's going to be new armors, most notably the Vile set is returning from Infinity Blade 2. It was probably the, the most requested set, or one of the most requested set of items on the forums, on um, Facebook and such. So finally I get my fucking Vile set back and I'm going to have fun rocking that on my Cyrus. Thank goodness, I did not like really any of the armor sets. The king set is cool, but everybody uses that. Now, you get to go back and play quests again that you already beat. So once you beat an act, like you beat the first act, Lariath, a new thing will open up. You can explore. You explore Ariel's dream is what that said. Let's explore that one and you get to go back through places you already beat and find new items treasures uh, upgrade your character and get experience and such they're bringing back the holiday helms as well this time it's going to be a little different i'm excited for it each holiday they're going to in introduce a helm so um you know the bump the pumpkin helm will be introduced with the update pack and then there'll be the Christmas helm, Thanksgiving, you know, whatever. They're gonna have one for like every holiday and you're gonna be able to collect them. They don't, they, it's not one helm that changes with the seasons. Every season will have its own helm and you can continue to wear them throughout the season and collect them in your inventory. Um, the other big thing is shorter forge times. I don't know how much they're gonna shorten them but you're going to see here in a second, a thing briefly pops up that says shorter forage times and a third upgrade slot that you can unlock for 50 battle chips. So that is a lot better in my opinion. Uh, I still think we'll probably be hampered by the battle chip system a little bit, but we'll, that's a little bit better. Anyway, at least they're hearing our concerns a little. So besides that, this is going to be a free update on Halloween. I'm going <coughs> to test every glitch for you guys. <clears throat> on Thursday on Halloween morning to see if they're all working. I'll let you guys know what ones are and what ones aren't <clears throat> and we'll see what ones chair patches. Peace.